And Steve, a big victory today for the former president in his classified documents case in South Florida. Those charges have now been dismissed by Judge Eileen Cannon. NBC6 reporter Tony Pipitone spoke with a constitutional law professor about why the case was dropped. Hey, Tony. Hey, well, Judge Cannon found that without an act of Congress, the Constitution does not allow for the appointment of special counsel Jack Smith by the attorney general. So any indictment he produces, she said, must be dismissed. It's been 13 months since special counsel Jack Smith got a grand jury to indict former President Trump. We very much look forward to presenting our case to a jury of citizens in the Southern District of Florida. But today, Judge Eileen Cannon threw the case out of court. Even if Mr. Trump willfully retained national defense information inside Mar-a-Lago, and with two aides conspired to conceal that, Smith's indictment, she found, could not stand. Special Counsel Smith's prosecution of this action breaches two structural cornerstones of our constitutional scheme, she wrote. First, she found Congress did not give the attorney general authority to appoint special counsels like Smith. It is clear that the appointments clause says that when you are appointing an officer of the United States, there has to be, at the end of the day, a law that authorizes that appointment. And there is no law. So that means the Senate must confirm him, which it has not. Secondly, Congress never approved his budget, which has already topped $24 million. Other courts, going back to Watergate and Richard Nixon, have allowed special prosecutions to go forward, rejecting similar arguments. But Cannon ruled those courts were wrong. Because Smith's exercise of prosecutorial power has not been authorized by law, she ruled, the court sees no way forward aside from dismissal of the indictment. And law professor Bob Jarvis says she might be right. So I don't know, you know, Judge Cannon, I've been one of you know, her sharpest critics, but I don't know that she's wrong in this instance. But if former President Trump becomes future President Trump after November's elections? What happens on January 21st, say? I think that he orders the Department of Justice or he orders his attorney general um, to dismiss all these cases and they will get dismissed. That would be both the classified document case and his indictment related to his role in the attack on the Capitol on January 6, 2021. He could not, though, have the state charges against him in New York and Georgia dropped. The president can't do that to a state case. Now, if he is, if this is appealed and makes it to the Supreme Court, one justice, Clarence Thomas, has already indicated in one opinion that he agrees with much of Judge Cannon's reasoning. So if four more justices agree, the special counsel would be, legally speaking, toast. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tony Pipitone, NBC6 News.